Howdy folks. Let's now create our first WebDriver IO test. Basically, we're going to create the test that is on the getting started guide. So let's do that now. Before we actually do that, let's create a logs directory. So we're still in our WDIO test directory. And also this will be uploaded to a GitHub repository. So you'll be able to check that out and I'll put a link in the uh, comment on the YouTube video. So let's make a logs directory. We want to do that to output all the logs to that instead of to the um, terminal. Um, so now we need to add our direct logs directory to the WDIO config. So let's do that here. And we'll do it logs. Logs. All right, so now all the, all the logging will output to this directory instead of the terminal. This makes it a little bit easier and everything's not cluttered on the terminal. All right, so let's now, we need to create our text directory here where we're gonna store all our specs. All right, so now let's create a test test file. I uh, will name it like check title test.js. I usually like to name all the spec files dot test.js or dot spec.js. That way you know it's actually a test file versus if you're using classes or something like that. All right, so we have our test file set up or created. Let's go to that. And since we're gonna use this, let's just, uh, let's require assert. Assert is just an assertion library that's already built into Node. So you don't have to um, install any for, anything for that. It's already in, installed. Just need to require it. So we have that. And then the describe and it functions here, these are specific to Mocha. I'm not gonna go too much over Mocha in this video, I will in a later video. But basically, you have a describe function kind of describes what you're tested about, and then you have it functions inside of the describe. You could have one it, or you could have multiple its. Kind of depends on what you're doing. Usually you only have a, like one or two or a few assertions inside of an it. Um, is that you can check out the Mocha homepage for a little bit more information on that, if you'd like to. But let's let's type this out more. Let's go. Try test homepage. All right. Let's add our it. Should get the correct page title. We're just gonna get the, the title of the page. So what we can do is we can use browser.url to actually navigate to a page. The browser object here is global and it's you can access it on any test throughout WebDriver IO. And there's a few different, um, a lot of different things you can do with it. Won't go over everything now. We'll just go over the couple that are here. So let's open up WebDriver IO. We're gonna actually open up the beta ped page right now. So that should open up the page, WebDriver. Now let's get the title of the page. So we actually want to get what this is. Um, so let's do, we can do browser.get title. We go title and then let's assert that it actually equals what we expect it to equal. So we can do assert dot equal do title, since we're doing a home page, let's 
the homepage. I think this is the title right here, actually. So we can probably just take copy that. So that should be all we need to start our first test. I'm going to put a pause here for 30 seconds or something. That way the browser doesn't close right away. We can kind of just see it because it will go fast. Um, so we should be good. We have everything installed already. Um, so now to run the test, all we have to do, well, first, since we added it inside the test directory, when we run this, it's going to look for any specs or tests inside of this directory and run them. Right now we only have one, so it's only going to run one. To run, so let's do node modules bin. And now let's just see what config file are we going to use. Sometimes you could have multiple configs depending on what you're doing. This is a simple, we'll do this. Um, and then, all right, let's see. And it failed. Now, why did it fail? Let's find that out. Here we logs. Uh, oh, I don't have Chrome driver started anymore. So let's restart our Chrome driver. Um, we should be able to do. So yeah, that's actually a good example. So if you see this error a lot, this could be for, for Selenium or Chrome driver or anything. This usually just means somehow the server is not started or you have an incompatible version between the, the, the browser driver and the actual browser. So let's start Chrome driver. Chrome driver, run port 4444. URL base is going to be D hub. We'll do verbos. And now Chrome driver is started. Let me add that. Failed again. Oh, okay, so we just need to add, you see it failed. Actually, we can just copy and paste this. It'll be easy enough. Uh, all right, now we should get a pass. So we did, we put the pause in here so nothing's happening. So that means essentially everything passed. So we can remove that if we want to. And there we go. And it passed. You see how it just outputted the spec reporter? This is what we installed before, the spec reporter. And now any output is in these files here. If you also get some weird errors and this does not work, um, once again, verify your NPM version and make sure you are on a version six or higher. There's been issues with version five that it actually will could delete the web driver package. That was a known bug with NPM. So just make sure on six and above if you have any errors.